Now, what if I told you your fatigue, anxiety, or high blood pressure could all be linked to one silent deficiency, magnesium. Now, magnesium is involved in over 300 biological reactions from your heartbeat to your brain function. But did you know that up to 50% of people may not be getting enough? In this video, we'll explore 10 scientifically backed causes of magnesium deficiency, including uh, certain medications, health conditions, and even some dietary choices that most people overlook. Now, let's start with one of the biggest culprits, a poor diet. Now, even if you're eating three meals a day, you might still not be getting enough magnesium, especially if most of your meals come from processed or fast food. And let's be honest, many people reach for what's fast and convenient these days, uh, boxed meals, frozen dinners, fast foods, you know, foods that are high in calories, but low in nutrients. And, and here's something wild. When we process whole wheat into white flour, we strip away 80 to 90% of magnesium. So the brand and gem, you know, that's where all the good stuff lives. It gets tossed out. A study published in the Journal of American College of Nutrition found that food processing can remove up to 80% of magnesium from grains. Now think about that. Your morning cereal, that sandwich bread, even your pasta, they are all missing most of the natural magnesium. And it's not just grains. You know, the typical American diet, which is high in processed foods and low in fresh vegetables, only provides about 250 milligrams of magnesium daily. But here's the thing. Men need about 420 milligrams and women about 320 milligrams. So we are starting each day in the red. Now, an analysis of data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey of 2013 to 2016 found that 48% of Americans of all ages ingest less magnesium from food and beverages than their respective estimated average requirements. Now let's talk about alcohol. Drinking alcohol, especially in large amounts or frequently, can significantly impact your magnesium levels. First, alcohol acts as a diuretic, meaning it makes you pee more. And every time you urinate, you lose magnesium. Second, alcohol can damage the lining of your gut, making it harder for your body to absorb magnesium. And third, heavy drinking is often tied to poor diet, you know, skipping meals or even eating low nutrient foods. Over time, all this adds up. So chronic drinkers are at a high risk for magnesium deficiency, which can lead to muscle cramps, fatigue, and even irregular heartbeats. Next, let's take a look at digestive issues. Magnesium is absorbed in the gut. So if your gut isn't working well, you might not be absorbing enough no matter how well you eat. Conditions like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, and even chronic diarrhea can block magnesium absorption. Now, even without a formal diagnosis of any of these diseases, frequent bloating, loose stools, or gut irritation can reduce how much magnesium your body actually takes in. And, and let's not forget long-term use of laxatives or frequent cleanses and detoxes, they can also flush out magnesium. Another big cause, medication. Now, some medications that we take every day can slowly drain magnesium over time. Diuretics or water pills like furosemide or hydrochlorothiazide increase fluid loss and along with it, mineral loss. Proton pump inhibitors or what we normally call PPIs like omeprazole, it reduces stomach acid, which your body actually needs to absorb magnesium. Now, other magnesium draining meds include setting antibiotics, birth control pills, uh, even some asthma inhalers and chemotherapy drugs. So if you are on any of these long-term, it is definitely worth reviewing your magne magnesium status and deciding whether supplements uh, would be in your best interest. Next, let's talk about something that we all deal with, stress. When you are stressed, your body produces cortisol, which is a hormone that triggers a fight or flight response. This increases your heart rate, but also causes your kidneys to dump more magnesium into your urine. The more stressed you are, the more magnesium you lose. And the less magnesium you have, the harder it is to relax. This is because magnesium helps calm your nervous system, relax your muscles, and ease anxiety. So stress depletes magnesium, and magnesium deficiency makes stress worse. So it becomes a vicious cycle. Now, closely related to stress is poor sleep. Magnesium plays a major role in regulating sleep. It helps your body produce melatonin and keeps your muscles and brain relaxed. But if you are not sleeping well or not sleeping enough, your body has a harder time managing magnesium levels. 
Now, the irony is that if you're already low in magnesium, you're more likely to struggle with insomnia, restless legs, or light sleep. So poor sleep and magnesium deficiency can fuel each other in a loop that's very hard to break. Now, let's look at diabetes and insulin resistance. If your blood sugar is high, your kidneys work over time to flush that sugar out. And along with the sugar, you also lose magnesium. That's why people with diabetes or prediabetes often have lower magnesium levels. Now, even more interesting, magnesium actually helps regulate insulin and blood sugar. So if you are low in magnesium, it becomes harder to manage your glucose levels, which leads to even more magnesium loss. Now, the next one is pregnancy and breastfeeding. When you're pregnant or nursing, your body needs more magnesium, not just for you, but also for your developing baby. Magnesium supports fetal development, muscle function, blood pressure, and so many other things. But most prenatal vitamins don't contain enough of it. And if your diet is low in nuts, seeds, and greens, you could easily fall short. Now, the same goes for nursing moms. Magnesium is lost through breast milk, so your needs stay elevated for months, even after childbirth. So needless to say, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure you're getting enough magnesium. Now let's move to something that affects athletes and outdoor workers, that is excessive sweating. Every time you sweat, you lose magnesium through your skin. So if you're doing intense workouts, uh, hot yoga, manual labor in the sun, or even sitting in saunas regularly, you could be losing more magnesium that you actually realize. Now, athletes are especially vulnerable. They are usually focused on electrolytes like sodium and potassium, but magnesium is just as important. Without enough of it, you may experience cramps, fatigue, and slower muscle recovery. Now, let's talk about aging. As we age, our digestive systems become less efficient. We often eat less and we take more medications, many of which interfere with magnesium absorption. Older adults are also more likely to have chronic conditions like diabetes, uh, digestive problems, or kidney issues, all of which can reduce magnesium levels. So symptoms like weakness, confusion, or muscle cramps are often blamed on getting older, unfortunately. But sometimes it's just a sign that your body is running low on this essential mineral. Now, if you fall into any of these categories and you are considering a magnesium supplement, it can be very confusing due to the numerous options that are available. So on your screen is a video of a comprehensive guide on choosing the right magnesium supplement that I put together. If you find it helpful and useful, give it a thumbs up. And as always, stay blessed and I'll catch you on the next video.